Hi guys, Kim here. Welcome to Backyard Blooms. In today's video, we are going to plant up some coleus. And we are going to plant up coleus that likes full sun. Yes, I said that, full sun. So this coleus can get anywhere from four to six hours of full sun and do absolutely great. Color Blaze has a series out that takes full sun. And I have four Color Blaze series right here in front of me that we're going to plant into this white terracotta pot. This one right here is called Ridiculous. This one right here is called Golden Dreams. This one right here is called Chocolate Drop. And this one right here is called Mini Me Watermelon. So let me tell you about Ridiculous. It is upright, it is grown for foliage, it gets 24 to 40 inches tall. It is an annual except in zones 10A and 11B. So this plant is very well adaptable as a house plant if you'd like to save these plants and bring them inside when we start getting a frost late November. Water is normal and then again the light is sun to shade so if you want to put it in shade you can but it does very well in the sun. No deadheading is necessary. It is known for its foliage interest. It is very heat tolerant. And you could put this in containers and landscapes and I have done both and they have done very well in both the container here and planted into the landscape. No ridiculous, of course, is red. And it has a very beautiful foliage and it does flower later on into the spring. And you can see that this chocolate drop is already starting to produce a flower. Most people don't like the flower on these, so you can just pinch them off if you like, but I don't mind them because the bees absolutely love this bloom on the coleus foliage. So Ridiculous pairs really well with Golden Dreams. So Golden Dreams has that same red center, but it's got a gorgeous chartreuse color with the red veining there as well. And these pair really well together. And both of these are gonna be my thrillers because this one's gonna get 40 inches tall as well. So we're gonna plant those kind of like right here in the center of the pot here. So the next Color Blaze coleus that I'm gonna talk about is Chocolate Drop. And this is what Chocolate Drop looks like right here. And you can see this real pretty purple bloom on here. And if you don't like the foliage, that's all you have to do is just come back and pinch it off like so, and it's no big deal. So there's the bloom and there's the foliage. So let me tell you about the features for Chocolate Drop. Its habit is trailing, so we're gonna put this on the side and it's gonna trail over. This one's gonna give me height and this one is going to trail over for me. And it will trail like all the way down here and I'm probably gonna have to trim it as well. But it's grown for its foliage, of course. It is a medium height, 14 to 20 inches. It's an annual, again, in zones 10A to 11B. So the next coleus that I'm gonna plant is the Mini Me Watermelon. And this one has watermelon to coral accents on its leaves with chartreuse accents. So this is a really cute plant. This is new for 2023. And this one doesn't get as tall. So this one's only gonna get 12 to 20 inches tall. Whereas Golden Dreams is gonna be twice its height at 40. So 40 inches tall and 20 inches tall. So this is the Proven Winners Premium Soil. I bought this at Creekside, but you can buy this online or at any of the stores that sell some of the Proven Winner products. I'm gonna fill this container pretty full because those containers right there are grande containers and they're pretty small. So this is what the soil looks like. And it's just light and fluffy and it drains really well. And it does have some of that slow release fertilizer in this that will feed these plants up to three months. So even though that this soil does have a little bit of the slow release fertilizer, I still like to add extra. So I'm gonna put maybe three or four scoops of this in the pot and just kind of give it a little mix here. Okay, so in the center of the pot, we're gonna do the thriller, filler, and spiller method. So this is my golden dreams and we're gonna put this right in the center. And I just watered these, so you don't wanna plant anything that's gonna be really dry and you just kind of squish the pot. And we're gonna make sure none of these roots show. 
then the next we're going to plant is the ridiculous just like ridiculous but it's ridiculous so we're going to plant that right here next to that one now the new mini me watermelon is going to be our filler so we're going to put that kind of like right here next to this one. Make sure all those roots get covered up there. So I have two of the Mini Me watermelon, brand new for this year. I lost a little leaf there, no big deal. I need to get some more soil. Let's go ahead and get these Let's go ahead and get these chocolate drops in here as well. And we're gonna plant these on the side, but I need to add more soil. So we're just gonna tilt this chocolate drop on its side. So this is actually how I'm gonna plant it, as a, as a tilt. So it's just gonna barely hang over this pot right there. And we're gonna do the same over here. So I have two chocolate drops. I think I'm gonna bring these plants back here a little bit more to give it a little bit more room. more dirt underneath this one. So this is a medium terracotta pot, medium to large, and it took one big bag of this soil. You don't wanna fill your containers with anything at the bottom because you want these to be able to drain well. And if you put anything in the bottom of this, for one thing, it's not gonna have where the roots can like grow all the way to the bottom. And the soil will keep these roots like moist. So since I do have drip into this cottage garden right here, I went ahead and put this black one fourth inch tubing through the pot. So that's all it's doing is like coming all the way through the pot. So here's top of the pot and here is the bottom of the pot right here. So on the top one we're going to hook this to drip. So this is a 1 4 inch coupler and that's all that I'm going to do is just wiggle this in to one end like so and then on the other end wiggle the other end as well like, like that. So this is gonna go around the pot. So I gave myself at least six emitters. These are the emitters right here, and this is the drip. So I got one, two, three, four, I got five. So I'm just gonna mount this around the pot. And then I'm just gonna kinda wiggle its way right here in the middle there. And then I'll hold it down with the landscape. So I still need to go get me like one of those little landscapes staples to hold it down like so. And then every time my drip comes on, this will get added water. But since this soil is dry 
and drip is not going to like soak it. So, so first off, we're going to soak this container and make sure we get all the soil completely wet all the way down. And that way these lovely colluses will get a good start. All right, so these are the landscape staples that I use with my drip into the ground. So I'm just gonna put that right here and hold these two pieces down so these plants will get good watering. So after watering these plants in, they're a little bit waterlogged. So when they get some good sun on them tomorrow and they look fresh, I'll come and throw a picture at the very end what these plants are gonna look like. But I think it really shows off all this color against this terracotta white pot. I kept the white pot because I have white trim on my house, so it kind of complements the trim on the house. And let's look at all this color. Like this shows you that you could have a lot of color on leaves and it doesn't necessarily have to be flowers. So very bright, very cheerful, and just love coleus. And yes, you can plant coleus in the sun. So I hope this video was inspiring to you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye friends.